So most of the work I do, I use macros for um, running descriptives, for running any sort of statistical test I use very frequently. The reason why I do this is because <coughs> um, macros make it really easy to repeat uh, the commands that you want to run over and over and over. Um, it can You can do it for an entire report or just for one descriptive command. So what I want to do is show you a little bit here about um, my descriptives. My, I call it my describer macro. This is the name of it. So I'm defining it right here. This is the describer macro. Uh, it has three different things in here. Here's, here's a tokens for the title. This means I can take in um, one thing for my title and that'll be in quotes there. Uh, the order is what I used if I want ascending or descending and then varies is um, for the variables and it's actually to the command end so however many variables I list um, it'll take all of them and it'll, um, it'll incorporate those into the macro so the very next line here um, you can see it says descriptives and then um, basically this says okay now put in the variables that you've pulled in from the macro call um, slash sort and then this is telling it where either put an A or a D for ascending or descending and then only I want to show the stats um, I only want to show the mean when I run it then what I do is because what I like having the mean right next to my labels I have a script that gets run every time so this basically I have it in this folder to make me remember that it's that selects the last table that was output and then swaps the mean with the first column then it actually then the next script goes in and changes um, the n to count. So instead of just saying n, it changes the, it to the word count. And the following one um, changes the title. So this calls a parse script, which means that I can adapt it to other things and uh, inserts the title there. And then the very last one just um, size wrap, uh, wraps the line line so they don't break. Um, and then this is the end define, which means that okay, everything between here and here is is the macro describer um, so here when we actually let me clear the screen real quick all right now this is where I call the macro so I say okay run my describer macro which is up here this is what is my title gonna be my title is gonna be my title All right, that's kinda boring so let's say Joe's title for a test um, the order, we're going to have it as ascending the first time we do it. And then what variables am I going to use? Well, this is where I put it in what I want to have it run. And now when I simply run this, um, it runs the it runs the table. It puts in my title there. It swapped the mean. It changed the end for count. And um, what also happened here is just so you, I have it set up so the imprint is on which means it shows you what it actually created so this is what I called here which is what you saw this is what SPSS interpreted it to so it put in where my my varies equal here to here that's where it put them in here because of that inside the macro the sort here it says a that was because this was an a and the stats um, the stats was mean of that but down here um, this is where we have it ran after it did the table then it ran these scripts to adjust them, fix the line breaks, um, and change the other stuff. So let's clear this and just go back to our macro and say, well, what if I had want that descending instead of ascending? So I can just change that. It runs it, does everything, but now it's descending instead of ascending. Um, so ascending. A little more. So you can see there, it, it's incorporated it um, very quickly. Now let's also, I'm going to turn off my uh, M outprint, so it's not going to be shown here every time. But let's say we wanted to run this now on my next set of variables. So I can say um, copy, come over here, paste, and this is um, membership of and when I run that, now you see it's it's done it all very quickly. Um, and then I can go back and say, okay, ds, which is short for my, it, I use an auto hot key uh, hot string that replaces it. My varies now are going to be, um, which of these are they using? So put this in here and say usage and 
let's get rid of this so you can see that. Um, so here you can see, you know, it runs it, and this is how very quickly I can I can write my program um, to crank out my results, and uh, it just saves me a lot of time by using macros. So it basically, it'll run everything in between these. And this is there's a lot of different things. There's different types of uh, of tokens and command in and uh, positional and, and different types of parameters that you can put in here. But this is just a quick overview of the strengths of using macros. Thank you.